This is a quick but important message. Your brilliance will break some people's hearts. You stepping into your brilliance, into why you're here, will break some people's hearts. And the way that you were, or the way that you are, that is suppression, that is actually not you, a mask, that state of being will actually be and has been why many people do love you. But you see, when you're that suppression state for a long enough time, you'll realize that it doesn't matter how many people love you. It doesn't matter how many people like your shit. Because at the end of the day, if you're operating from a suppressed state, a state that you put on because you've learned that people like that version of you that's not actually you, when you're operating from that, you hate you. You hate yourself. So, is it worth it? No. <laughs> Do a lot of people play in that game? Yes, and do what they're told, and not defy their suppressive mask to actually step into why they're here. Yeah. It's all about choice, and it's all about recognizing this paradox. It may not make sense to the mind or to the other people that loved you so much when you were fake or that loved you so much when you were acting in ways that they wanted you to act in ways that you thought you had to act to feel loved when it just led to deeper and deeper self hate and fear of continually pumping out and being hyper vigilant of getting their love. But when you're in your brilliance, when you're in your intelligence, when you're in your your essence, your true essence, it doesn't fucking matter. And the paradoxical thing about that is that people will flock to you, but they'll be the right people. They'll be people that unconditionally love you and have no expectations of you.